Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, well, Brenda. Brenda. <laughs> fine teacher. Okay, great. All right. We will begin here in about one minute when it's almost eight o'clock sharp. We'll begin. Okay. Two, two. Hello, Abigail. See you enjoying your water. <laughs> Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. We're about to begin here in a few few seconds. Okay. okay. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. We're about to begin here shortly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. I send everybody their, their little in-class homework. So maybe la lista aquí. Good evening. Hello, Jackie. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, everyone Thank that, you. that has connected punctually. Very good. We're about to begin. And um, as far as the the homework from yesterday, right? The one that we did where you did, um, let me see, Flor, good evening teacher, I'm driving, but I'm almost getting home, sorry. Okay, Flor, no problem, okay? When you get home, as long as, just try to stay connected, okay? But thank you, okay, no problem. Thank you for letting me know. When you get home, hope you get home soon, okay? Let me see. Okay, Brenda, Abigail, Edwin, Freddy, Carlos, Fabio, Flor, Jackie, and Iris. All right. Welcome, welcome. I hope you have a I hope you had a great day today. And you continue to have a wonderful evening and a good night after we finish class. All right. It's Tuesday and Remember that, um, well, every time we do an activity in class, I always try to correct it before we enter the following class. And I hope I didn't miss anyone, right? Eh, no falté a nadie con la, con la tarea de ayer. Did I miss anyone on the, where we had to write the five questions? The ones that you did in pairs? Please let me know if I missed any group or any pair. I think I checked everyone. I hope I did. Right. I think I did. Um, some of you had just a little minor errors, but for the most part, it was very good. It was well done. So thank you for doing that activity. And what I wanted to also let you know is that that activity is also in the platform. Okay, as part of your homework. And let me check something real quick. Mm -hmm. Has anyone had any problems with the platform? 
with the homework? No. Uh, actually, I do, but but they're already fixed because okay. I called uh, someone in and someone helped me. Okay, great, great. All right, let me see. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. Remember, if you have any doubts or anything, you can also uh, let me know, and I will gladly help you also. But um, well, if anyone else has any questions, I see that um. Remember that you have to reach you have to reach the 80%. Okay? Remember that is important. Tienen que llegar al 80%. All right? If you do not reach the 80%, es muy probable que le llame el área administrativa. No yo, ¿verdad? No yo. Eh, but it will be an administrator from uh, from Inglés Corporativo. Right. Veo que muchos todavía no han empezado las tareas en la plataforma. Ok, nomás dándole un recordatorio. Ok, ya eso quedaría fuera de mis manos si no, si no cumplen eh, ese requisito. Ok, eso nomás les sugiero eh, para que no, que no sean afectados. Ok, nomás un recordatorio de que hagan la plata, las tareas en la plataforma y que las completen para el día de mañana. Ok, son cinco tareas. Okay. Or I have a doubt. I have a doubt with uh, the number one point five. Okay, one point five. Fine. Uh, it, it was the homework that sent you yesterday. Okay. But number uh, number two, number four, and number five um, fail always. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Now remember in the platform it changes a little bit. It's not the same. No es exactamente como la que estamos haciendo en la tarea. It changes a little bit. Okay. Yes. Yes. So um but uh but I will I will show you here, okay? Juan Jose? Yes, will, yes, okay. I will show it here in class. Right. Let me see. Section one, you said um, 1.5. Is that correct? Juan Jose, 1.5. Juan Jose? Es lo que me yes, 1.5. Okay. Let's see. Okay, you're talking about this one, right? Yes. Okay, I know some of you, como pueden ver, esta es this una de las tareas, son cinco, right? 1.1, yes. 1.3, 1. 1.5, and then 1.7, and 1.9. There are five. Estas son las que tienen que hacer. These are the ones that you have to do. Okay? Son todas las cinco. Las cinco le da el 100%, pero nota mínima es de 80%, okay? The minimum grade is 80%. Estas las tienen que tener terminadas para mañana. Ok. Yo nomás les estoy dando un recordatorio. But here, in the end, if you notice here, Juan José, aquí cambia un poquito. Dice World Prices. Yes. In the activity that we did yesterday, eh, let me see, I think it is, it's written different or something, or it's the same. Price wars, right? In the. Pueden ver aquí? Price wars, prices, but in the. In the activity that we did yesterday. Let's see, where is it? In my, in my case, I put uh, many, many more companies, many more companies. Um, say many more companies would rather become. Okay, many uh, more companies, many more companies would rather become. Yes, the low cost provider. Provider, okay. And of, um, of a product, right? Of a product, yes. Yes, okay. of a product. And with, with, with 
cautioned about war prices. Yeah, hasta ahí. Now that is correct. But uh, the result is wrong. Okay. This way. I don't okay. know why. Okay. Yeah, and me too. <laughs> All right, let me see something real quick. Okay, I know someone mentioned it to me yesterday. I think it was Freddy's, right? Yeah, okay. What was March number two and number five, Ron? It says many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product with a great caution about WordPress. Let me see. That should be correct. Yes. But I'm going to ask you something. Le puso el puntito al final? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, can you send me a, a screenshot? Okay. Okay. Because that is the correct answer. Yes, I think the same. Okay. Uh, if you think it's correct, just send me a screenshot, okay? Send me uh, a, a screenshot. I will mandan una captura okay. and I will gladly check it for you. Okay, okay? I'm going to, to send you. Okay, no problem. If you can do it and then tell me, mandeme que le sale incorrecta. Tell me if it says incorrect when you do it. Okay. Remember okay. also, also um, make sure that it's, make sure that when you write it, it's capital letter at the beginning, right? Ooh. Le está poniendo la mayúscula cuando inicia? Yes, yes. Mm, okay. Remember, capital letter, capital letter at the beginning of the sentence and a period at the end. Yes, yes. All right. Capital letters always happen to us well. Okay, it's very, it's very specific. La plataforma es bien específica, right? It's very specific. So just let me know if you have any doubts, right? Okay. If you have any doubts, just send it to me. I will gladly check it. Okay. If this helping something, uh, time before, I have also get that type of mistakes that the platform has. But the only thing that I do is to um, tell to the administrative people and they check the things. And if there is something that they have to fix, they fix it. Exactly. That is also true, right? But let me see. I'm going to, I'm going to share it. Okay. Sin tanta vuelta. Okay. Do you see it right there? Yes. Okay, many more companies will read that. That would, should be the answer. Okay. So if you, if you have any doubts or anything, you can, quieren tomen una captura, whatever. All right, but as you can see, this is how it's showing me, okay? It's how it's showing me with a period and a capital letter here, and a period at the end. If you do not put the period or the capital letter, it's going to show you incorrect, okay? Make sure you put the, the slash, the hyphen, right? Here also, right? No se les olvide el hyphen también, right? So that, that is the correct answer here. All right, I think someone put something in the chat. Many more companies would rather become the local precaution about WordPress. Yes, yes, Juan Jose, that is that should be correct. Ahora, dígame, ¿le salió mal ahorita cuando la puso? Yes, yes, it was wrong. All right. Me too, it always marks me wrong. Uh, it's not only number five, um number two i think number yes two. number two and maybe number it's one space four. more that the sentence maybe is um, nice right but it exactly. has one more space or one less space but actually the mistake uh maybe is in the platform answer not in the people because two with mistake is the mistake is in the platform that's also okay possible. That's okay. also possible too, right? When you put a, a space extra, just like Brenda said, when you put an extra space or a one space left, yes. it can give you a wrong answer also, okay? So yes. 
let me know and then I can I can gladly uh, do the do the corrections for you. Okay. You know, teacher, what we can do, what you should do is like uh, copy the line and share it here to the team, and then they can try it directly if it's fixed. So they can see there if the space is the problem. Okay. Can you? Yeah, sure. No problem. Sure. Okay. I will share it, but that should be that should be the answer. I will share it. Okay. I will share it. There's no problem. Okay. Thank you. All right. So it's number five. Number which one? Number five. Number two. That's the only two. Number five and number two. All right. Number five and number two. Okay. So when I send it to you, you can play with it, right? I went on instead, it maybe a space less or something. Try to figure out, but I will send it, okay? I will send it, and then you let me know if you get it wrong, okay? All right, no problem. I will send it when, when we go on breakout rooms, so I won't waste any more time. I will do it while y'all are doing an activity in groups. I will send that to you, okay? In, in right. my case, only the, the point, um, the number one point, Five is the unique that list. Okay, that's all you need is that one. That's it. Okay, Juan Jose, thank you. Okay. Thank you for telling me. All right. Okay, class, we are going to let me take the attendance first so that way we can continue. All right. Abigail, Abigail Guadalupe. Present. Okay. Ana Beatriz Valencia. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca Stephanie Navarro. Present. Okay, thank you. Brenda Elinda Sainz. Present. Okay, thank you. Carlos Jose Velasquez. I'm here, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Dania, I mean, Diana Yesenia Reyes. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala. Present. Okay, thank you. And Flor Idalma Ramirez. Flor Idalma Ramirez. All right. No answer. What about Francisco? Francisco. Hello, Hi, welcome. Yes. Okay, Freddy's Vladimir. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Glenda Laura Celada. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris Beatriz Herrera. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales. Present. All right. Jarvin Isaac Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer Gisela Lopez. Sure. All right, thank you. Juan Jose Avalos Campos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Miguel Angel Centeno. Miguel Angel. Okay, no answer. Roberto Fabio Ayala. Present. Thank you. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla. Okay, no answer. And Jessica Yancy Cortez. Rolando, it was sick. Okay, uh, Jessica Ganari. Okay, no answer. All right. Two, three, two, four, six, eight, nine. All right, let's continue. Okay, what we are going to do is, all right. Okay, what is today's date? Um, let me see, can you give me the topic in today's date, please? Jarvin. Okay, in the yellow? Yes, sir. Reflection, critical thinking, question, quantifiers. Very good, quantifiers, right? We're going to do a small reflection and critical thinking questions and quantifiers. 
and we also uh, we are also going to do a, an activity in groups. Let me see how someone chat teacher. I'm here. Okay, thank you, Yanari. All right, gotcha. Okay, and um, we're going to do a speaking activity in trios. So you're going to be in with three with three classmates later on. But first, okay, continue, please, um, Jarvin. Today's date, please. Thursday, mm -hmm. Thursday, September 21st, 2021. Very good. Excellent. All right. Tuesday, September 21st, 2021. And this is class number four. Class number four. So tomorrow we finish unit one. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to just do a small review and just do a little bit of uh, activities in class. Now, what do you think about this? I want you to read it, Fabio. Okay, hello, Fabio. Sorry, I think. Okay. Uh, I would rather be alone than around chaos and confu confusion, silence with drama any day. Okay, chaos, chaos. Chaos. Very chaos. good. Chaos. Yes. Chaos. Yeah. Lo mismo que caos, right? Chaos. Uh, all right. It's a Latin word. Palabra latin. Chaos and confusion, right? So what do you think about this? I'd rather be alone than around chaos and confusion. Silence beats drama any day. Remember, remember we talked about yesterday with rather? So I, I said, well, I'm going to start with that, right? What do you think? If someone told you that, what would you say? Would you agree or disagree? Why? The author is unknown, unknown. So what do you think? The Minds Journal, what do you think? Jarvin, what do you think about that uh, quote? I'd rather be alone than around chaos and confusion. Silence beats drama any day. What does that mean, the beats? Beats. Beats drama. For example, uh, in this case, defeats. It, 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 it defeats or beats le gana, okay? Silence wins, all right, or beats, le gana, it wins, it beats, beats drama any day. Okay, I think I agree because I rather to be alone and I try to avoid the drama and the chaos every single day. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your, anyone else that would like to give an opinion? Fabio, you read it. What do you think? I think that, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's better be a lot when you are around so much trouble and, 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 and all, and I don't know, the people maybe, maybe not very good people and, and it's better be alone than with bad company or in stress situations and think, uh, something like that. Okay, well, thank you for your input. What about you, Diana? Mm -hmm. um, I think the same as the picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the picture, okay, all right, that was easy, right? I think the same, she said, all right, so that was easy, good, all right, thank you, Diana, for, for, for at least giving your, your input, right? Very clear. Very clear, I think we got you, Diana, all right, thank you, all right, 
at least you you said something, right? Very good. Anyone else? What about you, Brenda? Are you in Iris? Anyone? <laughs> You're still laughing, huh? You know what I can tell you about this is like, for example, when you speak about religion or I don't know, there are some topics that you should never talk about uh, when you want to make friends. So <laughs> in this case, I think the same because when you speak about it, you always make a chaos. That's true. That's true, right? There's certain topics that you have to avoid when you first meet people, right? And that that topic is one of them. There are many others. I believe is uh, what religion, sports, football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sports and uh, uh, politics. politics. Yes, politics or government, right? Things of that nature, or topics that are just too hot, right? Like uh, different subjects, like for example, abortion or other types of topics that are like, ah, can cause a little bit of chaos or confusion or even worse, right? Uh, an argument, right? Or a fight. <laughs> All right. What about you, Iris? Uh, I think that uh, the silence many times uh, give us peace. Uh, we found peace in when when we we are alone okay For example and is it's more relaxed the silent many times okay great anyone else would like to share something anyone else is open for discussion right it does anyone think the opposite we're like nah i'd rather fight and go against everything uh challenge right Anyone here feel that way? Uh, well, in my case, I, I uh, sometimes you need to affront the problem, you know, okay. because if you silent, if you silence something, the problem could be more bigger. But you have to get the solution to that. So speak out is the best thing you can do for me, you know. Okay, great, great. That's a different mm -hmm. perspective, right? Different perspective. Thank you, Edwin. Yeah. All right. Great. Anyone else? Anyone else? Animas, anyone else that would like to share something? No? Okay. Yes? No? All right. Okay, that was just a little reflection there, something to talk about. Now, let's go to, to the topic on your module on page. Um, that was the, the second part that we didn't uh, we didn't do and that was on page two, 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 page 13 okay page 13 so go to your module on page 13 so we we're talking about would rather and then it, the module goes straight into more more content more content related to product life cycle right product life cycle now Beatriz. Yes. Okay. I found something and I still haven't found like the specific, a good specific dictionary, but I found, um, I have a problem with Zoom. Okay. All right. There, there are, um, I'm going to send a link, right, in a few minutes to the group. It doesn't cover everything, but it has at least a product life cycle. At least it has that definition and many others, all right? It's just a, a, a website where you can just look up many uh, economic or business words, and it gives you the business definition. So we'll share that in a few minutes, okay? Thank you. Um, okay, now that you're here, can you read, please? Okay, group work. Choose a renowned product service that is saturating the market. Okay. What effects does market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? What strategies are the competitors companies applying to deal with saturation? What other strategies would you recommend? Okay, just a little correction in pronunciation, okay? Strategies. Strate strategies. Very good. Strategies. Excellent. All right. 
So we have here three questions, basically for you. Choose a renowned product. That's the first thing you're going to do. But first, we have to understand what is a renowned product. What is a renowned product or service? It's basically a product or service that is very famous or has grown significantly with a big name. All right. For example, can be the Samsung. Okay, Samsung. All right. Uh, uh, Samsung and it's well known, well known in the market, but we're using the word saturating. That means it has flooded the market. What business or product have you seen recently that has like, shh, it has saturated the market? Ha saturado el mercado. What do you think? A service? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe the operative systems. Okay. Like, for example, I think someone was talking the other day about Hugo or Pedidos or something like that, that it was so saturated that it, the system got jammed or something. This Was someone talking about that the other day? More in September when the um, Mr. Donut uh, <laughs> was the... W for one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Who is very difficult to send you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. So now, what you're going to do is, I want you to, I'm going to put you in groups, and you're going to select or choose. It says choose. This is in group work. You're going to choose. Try to find a product or service that is saturating the market right now. Anything, whatever, anything. It could be a service, it could be a product, whatever, both, either one. And what effects does market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? Do you think that the price changes? Or do you think the quality changes? When there's a, it's just a, a lot of the product in the market. Do you think the product goes down or it goes up? Or do you think the quality goes down or it goes up? Okay, you decide in your group by your experience of a product. Okay, you decide in your group. Okay, what about um, the next part? What strategies are the competitive companies applying to deal with saturation? What do companies, what do you think companies are doing Okay, or competitors are doing to deal with the saturation. Okay, what do you think happens? What do you think happens? What do you think happened when Ugo came out and he saturated the market with delivery? What did what happened after that? Another service came out, right? And maybe another one's coming out also, right? We never know, or two more, right? So those are just some examples of what I'm, um, I'm giving you right here that are related to how are competitors dealing with saturation of a product or a service, right? Do they just discontinue the product or do they make more products or do competitors say, let's make it better or let's do this, let's change this and we're gonna get the customers over here instead of over there, right? So uh, that will be your activity, and then you can think of other strategies. As a group, you decide what other strategies you think, right? Do you think marketing will be better a strategy? The, some people use bad tendencies, right? Uh, bad, uh, bad ethics, right? Muchas empresas usan éticas malas, right? Bad ethics to try to hurt other companies, right? To give a bad name. Se le llama en la economía, give a bad name, darle una mal, re, mal reputación a otra empresa para que no se quede con, right? So you can get the product. Do you think that's right? A lot of companies do it, right? In business, they do a lot of stuff that will probably be unethical, unethical. But what do you think? What is your response? This will be your activity, okay? This is a critical thinking activity. And this is on page 13, right? Page 13 
of your module. Right? So if you want to say, well, ¿Dónde salió eso? Right? I got it from page 13, sec, uh, part number 6. All right? And that will be the end of this as far as um, that page. Any questions on this? Because when we come back, we're going to ask these questions. Okay. Um, any questions on this group activity? I'm going to put you in groups of three. Any questions? No. Okay, great. Awesome. Remember that you can share screen with your with your group. All right, let me see breakout rooms. Okay, there's going to be some with four people in it because of the uneven numbers. So going to be two groups of four okay and the rest will be groups of three three groups of three now I want you to try to be as brief as possible do not complicate yourself choose a product as a group and then try to investigate and try to figure out what is happening with the saturation of the product in the market Okay, I'm going to enter the breakout rooms and I will be listening to your um, to your comments. Okay, class one, two, three.
Sorry, teacher, I lose connection. Okay. Let me see. Number two, I think number two. Group two. Okay. You were in group number two, you said? You were with Carlos, Edwin, and Jarvin? Jessica? Janari? right mm -hmm. but we need to answer the questions that are in the in the box uh -huh. and then we have to discuss in the main session so we need to write something uh or an anal analysis analysis i think and an analysis about what we think about this, this three question that are in the box. Exactly, okay. exactly. It's not just give an opinion, it's as a group, write something and share it after in the main session. Exactly, if you, if you look at page 13, what comes after that? 
It says share your analysis with the class. Thank you, Jennifer. That is correct. Okay, teacher, thanks. Uh, electrical airplane. <laughs> Uh -huh. So, yeah, uh, Matt, what yeah. more we can recommend? Hello, That's everyone. It. Just sorry to interrupt you. Remember that when we go back to the main session, you as a group have to give an analysis of what y'all talked about. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. Awesome. Awesome. I know you're doing a great job right now. Sorry for the interruption. No problem, thank you. Continue. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi, welcome. 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 Oh, you welcome. Welcome no. you. <laughs> well, I, I I haven't heard nothing from Flor. That's why I say welcome, Flor. It's like <laughs> no la he escuchado en toda la 30 minutos, right? What happened, right? No, teacher, because I, I was driving and then no, I was arriving my house. Exactly. Um I I I think that I I uh, put on the camera, maybe I don't know before we we come to the breaker rooms okay mm -hmm. all right <laughs> well glad to have you here flor Thank and you, uh, um remember that as a group when we go back to the main session maybe you y'all decide who's going to do the analysis because i want to hear i want to hear your if you look at your module si tienen su cuaderno ahí, do you have your book right there Brenda, no i Okay. I'm having the in the computer. Okay. If you look at right after this, number six, can you read, Brenda, what is number seven on page 13 of your module? After this. Wait activity. one second. Okay. Page, which page? Uh, page 13, Flor. Page mm -hmm. 13. 13. Yes. You're going to see six, and then right underneath it is number seven. But number seven, what does number seven say? Can someone read read it for me, please? It says share your analysis with the class. Very good. That's what you're going to do. Okay. So you're going to share, I want you to get an idea of what, you, what product or service, and then I want you to elaborate just a few points in class when we go back to the main session, okay? Just something brief. It doesn't have to be long, right? It's just something brief, okay? Okay, great, continue. Okay. All right, great job. You don't pay all the price only a part of the price mm -hmm. and you got a new cell phone mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. that would be amazing i mean uh, uh, I that is a that is a good market strategy okay <laughs> okay okay great okay. y'all are doing great i see you're very interactive <laughs> right remember that when we go back to the main session you're going to tell me something brief about what y'all talked about, okay? So that's why it's called critical thinking. All right, great, great, right? And if you look at a, if you look at your module, if you look at your module on number seven, right after this, it says right there, share your analysis with the class on page 13, right? On page 13. So you can see it right there. Okay, great, y'all continue. Sorry to interrupt you. Okay. Okay, with the next question. I don't think it's necessary to 
disposable face mask. All right. Okay, very good. All right, so you're going to share your analysis in a speaking manner when we go back to the main session, okay, as a group. So just brief, okay? Just something brief. Each one of you can say something. Nice, nice. I like the way you're working right here. Very uh, technical. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Bye-bye. And then...
Okay, welcome back everyone. Glad to see you here. And before we begin, right? Before we begin, I have the groups here. It was five groups. Before we begin, I'm going to take the second attendance. Okay, the second attendance. Just briefly. Okay. All right, I'm going to make it very brief. Abigail. Abigail. Yes. All right. Thank you. Um, Beatriz. Present. All right, great. Blanca Stephanie Navarro. Blanca Stephanie Navarro, okay. No answer. Brenda Erlinda. Present. Okay, thank you. And we have Carlos. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Thank you. And what about Diana, Yesenia? Present. Okay, thank you. What about Edwin Alexander? Present. All right, great. Flor? Present. Alma? All right, great. Francisco? Amadeo? Present. Okay, sure. thank you, thank you. Freddy? Present. All right, great. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Glenda? Hello, Glenda? Okay, no answer. Iris? Present, teacher. <clears throat> All right, thank you. Jackie? I'm here. All right, thank you. Jarvin? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose? I am here, excuse me, I lose the connection for a moment. <laughs> okay, no problem, thank you. Miguel? Okay. Fabio? I'm here. All right, great. And... Rolando Antonio, still not here. All right, and Janari. I'm here. I know you. All right, great. All right. Okay, let me see. Okay, class, I have five groups. Let, let me hear you speak. Let's be brief, okay? Let's try to be brief so we don't spend too much time on this small activity. Just be brief and straight to the point, okay? Just a brief analysis. The group number one, who wants to share the analysis with the group? I had Glenda, Aidy, Jennifer, and oh, so who, who would like to speak on group number one? Number Did one, you excuse could, me. Could okay. you please share the screen with the questions or with the statements? Okay, no problem. I will gladly do it. Let me see. Okay, do you see it right here? Just yes, check, thank you. Okay, no problem. I will make it even. Okay, for the first one, oh, well, first we choose a beverage that is Coca Cola. Okay. And about what effects does the market saturation have in the price and quality? We think that the saturation has a big impact in the prices because this makes that the competitors decrease the price because of that. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, because for example, Salvacola has different sizes that are comfortable for all the target that they have okay, about very... sorry teacher about what strategic strategies can you please tell Strat me strategies strategies Strat 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 strategies okay right are the okay. right. applying to deal with that duration okay well, Jennifer Jennifer uh, Jennifer, strategies, strategies. 
strategies. Okay. Thanks, teacher. No problem. To deal with saturation, as I said before, that one of the strategies are decrease the prices and make different sizes that people can buy easy, like the, the little bottle that is from 200 ml. Okay, Milli is, milliliters, right? Milliliters. Milliliters, yes. That is so cheaper. Okay. Okay. It, this is one another strategy that the competitors have is, for example, try to get the attention from the from the customer. For example, uh, buy our product because we are Salvadorian. <laughs> avoid local products or something like that. That is one strategy from Salvacola. Okay, great, great, awesome, awesome. Yes. Okay, um, what other strategies would you recommend? We think one good is marketing and social network. For example, some, some months, months ago that happened a video that was so funny, they made a commercial that was so similar to that video. And they, they get benefits because of that. And we think that is a good strategy to get more customers. Great. And the Great. other one is to have uh, promotions in a specific dates like on Christmas, on Father's Day, or other specific um, holidays. Okay. And the other one is to have other kind of, prom of promotion, like if you buy one, you will, will get 50% 50, 50 of the of, of discount. <laughs> All right, awesome. 30% discount. Great. Thank you, Jennifer. Awesome. Great. Well done. Well done. Well done. Very good. 30% discount. All right. Okay, group number two. Thank you, Jennifer. Good job, group number one, with uh, analysis on that. Group number two, who wants to speak on the analysis of that group? Okay, no one? Okay, group number three, who would like to speak on the analysis of your of your group? Maybe we forgot the, the, the number of the group, teacher. Ah, okay, group number two was, uh, okay. Teacher, teacher. Carlos, Edwin, Jarvin, and, uh, and uh, Jessica, uh, Janari, Janari. And group number three was Brenda, yeah, Flor, yeah. And Francisco, group number four was Abigail. Okay, and uh, um, who was the other one? Beatriz and Diana. And then group number five was Freddy's, Jack, Jackie, and uh, who was the other one? I believe it was Fabio, right? Okay. Okay, I gave you the groups and the names. Group number two. Anyone from that group that would like to speak on your? Okay, teacher. Uh, we are talking about the electric car. Okay. That we already know that the electric car right now, we don't have a saturation in the market, but mm -hmm. it's the future. And All right. Yeah, I think. Yeah, good, and... good, good expectations. Good expectation, nice. Okay, for example, the effect that this, this has is in the quality of the product because all the companies are trying to build the best electric car. Okay. And for example, the strategies that they are using is use the best technology and try to have the, the cheap product and best the best car because the we need the, the electric car has the best technology 
because have to be better than the normal car or the gas car. And for example, the strategy that we recommend, we would like to recommend the company is they have to good, good knowledge of the market because they have to know every single country is different around the world and they can have the same product for every every country. And another strategy they can have is they can have a good team of the marketing because they have to promote the ecology and they have to promote the care of a environment and the social responsibility. Very good, excellent. Yes, dealing with the environment, dealing with things that can help, right? Benefit, not destroy, yes. right? Very good, very good observation. Nice topic, right? Dealing with, maybe not now, but maybe in the future, right? Good expectation, nice. Very good, uh, thank you, uh, Jarman. Okay, group number three, who would like to give their analysis on what you talked about? It was Brenda, Flor, okay, I'm going to call on someone there. Flor, you go ahead and explain it, please. Okay, we were, we were talking about shampoos. Shampoos, okay. And yes, um, within that, as there are so many brands of shampoo, um, the company have to find better strate strategies to position in the market. Um, there is a risk of making less quality to make it more economical, for example. Um, we put, for example, we put the example of combine, combining the shampoo with the conditioner mm -hmm. in the same bottle. So we know that it doesn't work the same. So, sorry, my dogs. Yeah, you have your little dogs right there. No problem. Okay. So within the, the strategies that we recommend is to not um, mix or make the mistake, the thing that um, make com competitor, the company make competitor is to reduce the quality of the product. Mm -hmm. All right, yes, nice. Very good, very good. Talking about shampoos, that is correct, right? You have shampoos that are mixed with conditioner and, and regular shampoo, right? To For different strategies, just like you mentioned. And thank you, thank you. Very good, very good. Straight to the point. Thank you, Flor. Okay, group number four. Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Indiana and Abigail. Okay. Uh, we are talking about the smartphones. And the first question, what effects does market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? Um, actually, the market saturation arise when a uh, volume of product or service has been maxims. For example, the cell phones or the smartphones occur the same situations. That situations uh, force that the company uh, use uh, another marketing strategies like replace the product or give different free services. And what strategies are the competitive companies applying to deal with saturations? Well, some companies uh, use uh, product, in, product improvements uh, or replace the product. Sometimes they use uh, its cre creativity or sometimes they use a unit marketing uh, strategies. And what other strategies would you recommend? Well, we were talking uh, uh, to two strategies. For example, if you want to increase your profit, uh, maybe you receive your old cell phone and the company give you another one, a new one for, for of course, and you pay only a part of a total price. 
or maybe they sell uh, cell phones almost new uh, with a lower with a lower with a lower price, for example. Exactly, exactly, right? With a lower price with your phone. Very good, right? Very good, very good. You also mentioned product improvements. Very nice. Thank you, Beatriz. Good job, good job. Okay, Diana, do you have your hand up? Did you want it to share something? No? Okay. Let me see. Group number five. Okay. Uh, we choose uh, the disposable face mask. <laughs> yes, I saw, I saw it. I saw it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And for the first question, uh, what effect does market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? Uh, to start with it, I will talk about um, when we, we were in quarantine and the mask, like there was a massive production of masks, but, but like in quarantine times, there was uh, a short, uh, very short in the market of, of masks because there were a lot, they weren't, the people need a lot of that in hospital or, and, and that. And the product and the product was very expensive at that time in quarantine the the the, the mask, but now as the market saturates uh, saturated so much, now the masks are very uh, cheaper, are very cheap, and that uh, the effect they have in the market all the saturation with the mask. There are a lot of types of masks now, <laughs> and cheaper and colorful and. Yeah, um, with the market saturation, the mask uh, reduce their price. And even there is a lot of marks. There are some that are bad quality that maybe one use it goes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. And what strategies are the competitor, uh, competitor companies applying to deal with the saturation? And uh, for this one, uh, what I see is some companies uh, use different colors in their mask or different designs. They even create some masks special for kids with, with yeah, cute designs too. So that's a way some competitors uh, deal with, with this saturation. And for the last one, what other strategy would you recommend? We thought as a team that maybe creating a personalized uh, design for companies or for people that want some special kind of design for their own. So they, they can choose do some more personalized for the people, some much more personalized. So that's a three. <laughs> okay, great, great. Yes, you brought a, a great point here when the the saturation of mass, just like you mentioned at the beginning, the prices were high, right? I remember when I was trying to buy some, they were like, some places you couldn't even find them. It didn't matter if you had $100. If there were none to buy, you couldn't find any, right? I was like, oh. I bought the last two. When I went, I asked for five and they said, we only have two left, uh, give them, right? And that was it for like a month. I only had two masks. Right, so it was just like you say, and then the saturated market, the price went down, right? At Twenty cents, twenty-five cents now, <laughs> maybe for free where you work at, right? Some places where you work, they give them for free. All right, great, great points. Thank you for your um, for your input and also your technical your technical evaluation. Very good, very good, excellent, good job. Now let's continue. Um, I just have a question, two questions. Will you agree that your company or business has fierce competitors? I just want one person to volunteer. Would you agree or disagree? Do you think that your company or business has fierce, fierce competitors? Fierce, right? They're very, right? They're very competitive. One good example would be, who is a fierce competitor to Claro? Who is a fierce competitor? Fierce, that's Eagle. Eagle, right? Eagle. Yes, right? That is like the dominant two, right? 
they're fierce. They, they, they battle each other for customers, right? So um, what do you think? Anyone would like to share something about maybe their business or where they work? Do you have that type of fierce competitors or no? I agree, teacher, okay. because that force that the company change the model business plans, get better, better, better prices to the customers. So the demand uh, will increase your profit or sometimes you have to, to, improve, your, to improve your products. So okay. the winner is the customers at the end of the, of the game. <laughs> All right, great. Great analysis, great analysis. Thank you. All right, what about the next one? Does competition, what do you think? Does competition affect businesses negatively? Yes or no? Do you think competition affects businesses negatively? Negative. No, no? okay. Yes, teacher. I think yes, teacher, because uh, I have read about some examples from some is from retails that okay. can compete with big companies. For example, in one country in Europe, they don't permit, uh, they doesn't uh, accept, for example, Walmart because that affects their local business. Mm -hmm. Good analogy. Thank you, all right. I also heard someone say no. Who said no? Remember, this is... So, I, I, I think about, like, for example, that to have competitors can make you be better because you will be working strong to make your company strong. So you put more in your company. So if you think, uh, maybe if you are in a small uh, entrepreneur, so maybe you can get down for competitors. But if you are nice in what you do, if you are great, so many people will want to have business with you and maybe you can make it great. Okay, very good, very good analysis. Thank you, Jennifer and Brenda. Very good points. Both of you are correct because in some parts, yes, it can affect. And in some parts, just like Brenda said, it can actually make a, a product or a service better provide better services or if you have quality right then if you have a quality of a product the customer will always come right but you know, uh, teacher mm -hmm. if you let me tell you something for example in our country we have just claro and tigo right for internet so for us it's very common that we have problems even sometimes we cannot work because we don't have internet and then uh, the problem is that we just have two options and one is worse than another and so that's a problem but when there are a lot of people that are offering the, the service so they try to be the best in the market because they want to have customers okay they have competition great and for that's... us it's better as a customers exactly right okay very good very good now what as a class i'm going to ask the class we all have one way or one form or another, whether it's Stigo, Claro, or other companies, right? If another company comes, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is Verizon is coming to El Salvador pretty soon. If Verizon comes from internationally, in, in uh, international, as an international entity, as a communications, um, would you switch to Verizon? I will. <laughs> I, will <laughs> me, me I, too. I will too. too. I will I try. too. All right. So I think anything will be better than what we have now, right? <laughs> All right. Because. Okay, so yeah, in some parts, some people are happy, right? Some people are happy, right? Some people are happy, they're like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, right? Or some people be like, every month, you know, una cosa es otra, right? Awesome. Mm. right? Raise, raise your hand if you agree. <laughs> so, 
Uh, we will see soon, right? Whether Verizon comes or not. My Wi-Fi. <laughs> All right. So imagine having an internet where they say the minimum we offer is a hundred megas. Like what? And for like thirty thirty dollars or something like that, thirty five dollars, right? A hundred megas with everything else, with satellite dish and everything. A <laughs> hundred megas minimum or two hundred, right? I I remember at one point I was like, yeah, when I got it, it was like five megas, right? Then it went to 10, now 15 and 20, 30, right? And I'm thinking about going 50, right? Because I think it has to be more, right? But either way, when it rains, what happened when it rains, right? You get wet. <laughs> you get wet, right? right. But <laughs> it's, it's, it's very good, very good answer, right? Use so, umbrella. Yeah, so when it rains here, a little bit of water, the internet connection, boom, is gone, right? Just a little rain and we lose connection or, or, or as a signal, right? Or the light goes out. Okay, very good. Very good speaking. Very good analysis here. Let's do this next part right here where we're going to start introducing a little bit of quantifiers. Quantifiers. All right. I'm going to leave the bottom part for tomorrow for practice. So let's do... Who wants to read? Who wants to participate on the reading? Now we're going to do a little bit of reading. Okay, I'm going to participate. Okay, great. Okay, um, you need uh, one. I'm going to make big that be sure I will be uh, the product life cycle. Okay. I will be able to identify reason for the decline of a product suggest strategies for a business to deal with with the, the decline of product okay very good very good this is page 14 page 14 right continue okay. please okay um let's start uh, one would you agree that your company has fierce competitors does competition affect affect business negatively okay we How? asked Right, very good. So we answered that already, right? I heard a, a lot of you already sp speak about this. So let's continue. Okay. Uh, Sonia and Oscar are talking about green tortillas and its behavior in the market. Listen to your instructors, read the conversation, then take turn practicing with a partner. Okay, in this case, you are going to go straight into the reading. Okay, thank you, Juan Jose. Thank you. Okay. Um, it is. Yeah, okay. Oscar, um, did you hear the sales of the green tortillas have declined? Sales. 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 All right, very good. Very good. Uh, Abigail, continue, please. I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Very good, thank you. As you can see, the, the words in bold. What is bold? I, very good, excellent. These are words in bold, in bold. All right, very good. Continue, please, um, Edwin. Yes, I remember you put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. All right, very good. Continue, please. Um, let me see. Jackie? I saw green tortillas was said with a little look. With a little with a little look, sorry. Okay. I guess I was wrong. All right, very good, very good. Now I'm going to just pause for a few seconds. I want to I want to put emphasis on something, right? This word right here, many of you are mispronouncing it. Okay. You are looking at it with a little bit of Spanish tone to it, a strategy. Strategies. Strategies. Right? It's strategies. Strategies. 
give that fluent American accent. Strategies, strategies. It's not a strategies, all right? Strategies, strategies. I've, I've listened to a few of you. Strategies. Excellent, I see. Perfect. Strategies, strategies. You can look at my lips. Strategies. Excellent. Strategies, strategies. Okay? Do not pause with the second T. Do not pause on the second T. Okay? Strategies, strategies. Strategies. Perfect. Perfect, Beatrice. Much better. Okay. Now, we're looking at the words in bold, many, a lot of, and a little. Okay? This is where we're going to be talking about quantifiers. Quantifiers. Now, this part, we are going to leave it for tomorrow because then we're going back to the life cycle again when we started with quantifiers. So let's continue. Okay, I gave you a little graph right here, maybe a little bit extra. You can see a lot of here. You can also say lots of. So I'm giving you other options, okay? A little bit more, more, uh, more of, of words to choose from or a variety right not many but you know something a little bit different they're basically the same okay just giving you a different perspective okay it's in your book on your module on page um 15 which is the next page that i will be showing here which is this one you can see them here but i also gave you a little graph and a bigger definition basically the same can you read the definition please um carlos okay um, yeah 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 i can, I can okay I can. yeah okay little is no little is no small. uh sorry carlos the definition of quantifier Hi, sorry. Okay. Uh, a quantifier is a word or or phrase which is used before a noun a noun to indicate the amount or quality. Quantity. Quantity. One quantity. Excellent. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so now a quantifier is a word or phrase which is used before a noun to indicate the amount or quantity. Okay. All right, let me see. And then we have some here. Continue, Carlos. Can you read the first two? Okay, can you turn on your microphone, please? Okay, so all right, all right, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the meaning of little is small, 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 or minor. Minor, right? Uh, minor, yeah. Uh, the meaning of few is small or slight. Slight. Light. 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 Very Light. good. Very good. Okay. So these are, yeah. okay, thank you, Carlos. And uh, little is it countable or uncountable? Little is uncountable. Very good. And few? Uh, it is countable. Very good. So we use these for countable and uncountable nouns. Nouns. Thank you, Carlos, for your participation. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, Beatriz, can you read the next two, please? A lot of, a large number of among. Amount. 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 Mm -hmm. you, can, you can use amount. Or amount. Mm -hmm. La T al final, amount. 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 That's all. Good job. Okay. Is used for countable noun and uncountable noun. Perfect. Continue. 
many, very numerous. 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 Numer numerous. numerous. Is for countable noun. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Brenda, continue. Much. Very too a lot. It's for uncountable noun. Any. Never at all. It's for countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, very good. Excellent. Continue, please, Diana. Lots of. Meaning... A lot of uh, for countable and uncountable nouns. Some, an specified amount of number of Very for good. countables and uncountable nouns. Very good. Excellent. Now remember that some of these you can use them in both in both ways, whether it's countable or uncountable, but some only with uncountable and some with only with countable nouns. Okay, so I'm giving you a little graph. Now, some of these are almost the same. If you notice here, a lot of is up here, lots of. So you can use either or, okay? I'm just giving you extra vocabulary, okay? You can say a lot of or lots of, okay, to alternate. So if you hear someone, if you go to the United States and someone says, oh, there are lots of cars, and you're like, hey, you're supposed to say a lot of, right? No, you can use either or. Okay, either or. Now that is not in the module, but I'm giving you this as extra. Okay, let's go to the module here. As you can see, it's here. And you have non-count nouns with count nouns. So basically we already saw these in the last graph that I showed you here. And except for a great deal of, right? A great deal of, you see another, a few here that are extra. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Plenty of. All right, is that better? Let me see. Okay. I want you to read from right here. You have your module there, so all you have to do is look at it, or you can look at it here on the screen. These are just quantifiers on either side. Okay, you have time here and hours. Um, let me see. Who has, who haven't I heard? Glenda. Can you read, please, where it says our effort? Sorry. Can you repeat me, please? Okay. Could you start reading where it's, it begins? Our, mm -hmm. Okay. Our effort, look at my look and time, principle, nouns, or non count nouns. Use these expressions above to quantify non count nouns. Okay, very good. How do you say this word, Glenda? Look. Okay, luck, 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 luck. luck. Suerte. luck. Yes, luck. luck. All right, okay. it means suerte, right? Suerte. Yes. Like when someone says good luck, right? Luck, you have luck. It's effort, luck, and time. Right, we know time here is already there. That's a non count. But what about luck and effort? Are they countable or or non countable? Non count nouns. What do you think? No count. Very good. Excellent. That is correct. Non count nouns. Okay. Um look at this sentences right here. Can we read them, please? I'm going to start with Abigail. Can you read number one, please? No, uh, first read the instructions, I'm sorry. Number six, identify. Yes. Okay, identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in the statements below. Okay, 
So I want number, you to continue, sorry. Number one, Dana projected the new product will not attract most customers. Okay, very good, very good. Read sentence number two, Fabio. It's um, the, in the sixth one, right? Yes, sir. It's necessary to revise some of the components of the marketing strategy. Very good, very good. Number three, can you read it please, it is. Before, before sales decline, it, it is essential that we implement a great deal of mod modification. Very good, very good. Number four, please, um, Edwin. Plenty of our customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. Okay, very good. Um, Jarvin, number five, can you read the sentence, please? A little competitor has established low price for products similar to ours. Okay, can you repeat this word, Jarvin? Which one? I don't know what is the correct pronunciation, okay. but I say established. Okay, established. 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 Very okay. good. Excellent. Good job. Um, let me see. Flor, number six, please. So, supermarket had placed many orders of green tortricas this week. Very good. So, we read the sentences, and now you are going to find which ones are correct and which ones are incorrect. Now, I'm going to tell you something. There are three sentences, tres de las seis, three of the six are correct. Three of the six are correct, right? I can give you that. Three of the six are correct. Only three sentences have uh, mistakes, okay? So don't think that one sentence has two mistakes in it, okay? There's only one mistake on three sentences. And I would like for you to, to do it individually, individually. This is going to be done individually. And you have about maybe eight minutes to do it. Remember this is on page, um, page 15, page 15. And I'm just, I just want to, to do like a, a mini evaluation to see how much you know about quantifiers. That way tomorrow I can have a greater understanding of just this mini evaluation. I know the majority, well, all of you can speak very, very, very well, okay. But what about with quantifiers? Can you try to find the mistakes? How would you check that? How would I check that? Okay, when you finish, when you finish, I want you to take a picture or the screenshot, or if you, you I want you to write it in your notebook, okay? I want you to write it in your notebook. If you have the module already printed, then you don't have to write nothing because all you have to do is correct it. And then when you finish, take a picture and send it to me with your name, with your name. No se les olvide poner nombre. Put your name in the activity because this is going to be activity number, let me see if I can go your left. This is going to be activity number four. In class activity number four. So we, we only need to write it down that the, the three that are correct. 
and send them to you. That's, okay. the, that's the activity. Okay. The, oh, if you're going to write them, so you don't have to spend mm -hmm. too much time, you're going to write the ones that are incorrect and correct them. Okay. So I want correct you to, them. yes. Three are incorrect, uh, right? A little bit hard, but I'll try to do it. Okay. Okay. Do, do your best. All right. Three are correct. Three are correct and three are incorrect. All right. Three are incorrect. Find the three that are incorrect and correct them and then send them to me. And I want you to put the number. Quiero que le ponga la numeración, please. So I can know what sentence it is. You have. I'm just I'm just doing a mini evaluation to see how well you understand quantifiers. So I can do an activity tomorrow. So only three sentences are incorrect. If you already have it printed, the module, this will be easy because you don't have to write nothing. For those that haven't printed the module, I recommend that if you can, please go to a Siver closest to your house or wherever and try to print, try to print the module. It will be much easier for you to work with in class. That is my recommendation. Because there's going to be a lot of writing in the next units. There's a few activities on unit two where you have to fill in the blanks. So if you print it, if you print the module, it would be easier. Let me see unit number three also. Mm -hmm. And unit number four has a lot of work. Well, not that much. Just a little bit.
Okay, let me see. I'm already receiving some, so I'm already finishing. All right. I already got one, two. Mm -hmm. Okay, Brenda, where are your corrections? Oh, teacher, I sent a picture oh, to your um, personal number. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you get it? It's a picture, it's just that I just um, marked with blue. Where is the mistake? Okay, but where's the correction? Oh, do I have to do that also that? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. How will you correct it? Hmm. How will you correct it? Okay. If you if you if you put the mistake, please correct it. Okay, now to the best of your knowledge. Let me see Abigail. Excuse me, we are going to send you only the three correct or the mistake. Okay, bye. I'm going to I'm going to say it one more time. Okay. Esto es lo que vamos a hacer. Me van a mandar las tres oraciones que están incorrectas, pero ustedes las van a corregir. Okay? En otra en otra manera, si si la dos está incorrecta, Ustedes van a escribir la oración y luego la van a corregir como ustedes piensan que está correcta. Y le van a poner la numeración si es la 2 o la 3, la 4, la 5, la 6. Okay? ok. Pero la que la que usted considera, ustedes consideran que están correctas, no se preocupen de esa. Ok. Only the three that are incorrect, you send it, but you have to correct them also. Ok. You have to correct them also. Thank you for asking, Juan Jose. All right, very good. Uh, Cortez, yeah. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, good job. Thanks, teacher. Right. Let me see, I have Jackie here. Okay, Jackie. Yeah. Actually, I, I, I don't know how to do it, teacher. I, I don't understand anything. I don't understand this. 
I'm not going to send it to you because I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Okay, you don't understand. Okay. okay. No. What, what was it that you didn't understand? The total instructions, Edwin. The, the, the instructions. Okay. I mean, not the instructions. I means that I don't know how to use these words. Okay. This. Okay. The, um, the quantifiers. You're talking about the quantifiers. Yes. Okay. So, but uh, for me, the, the six are correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know which is incorrect. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm doing that's this. A big I'm... problem because I have right. been reading both. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm I'm doing this. As I, I, I don't know. I'm going to study. Mm -hmm. Okay, as an individual activity to see how much you know about quantifier. That way, I can. I can do an activity tomorrow. Uh, that's why I'm doing this as individual work to see how uh -huh. much you, what are, what are some of the changes you can make using quantifiers, right? Because quantifiers, I believe they were, when did they show them to you in, I think it was in, in, in the beginning of intermediate, right? at the end huh. of a uh, basic four or something like that, if I don't recall, basic five. But I want to see how much, I know that this, you probably forgot a little bit about this, Edwin. But yeah. let me see. Remember that some are count nouns and some are non-count nouns. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the key here. That is the key here. Mm -hmm. eh, el enfoque es que algunos son para Sustantivos que se cuentan y otros que no. Okay. So you have to uh -huh. know. It's not know this perfectly. Right. Uh -huh. No es de saber esto perfectamente. Sino que saber utilizarlos con los nouns. Si son contables o no contables. That is the key. Okay. okay. Now with some, you can use both. Como les demostré anteriormente la slide. Eh, Mm -hmm. right you can use for example this one plenty of plenty of you can use them with count with count nouns or non-count nouns okay okay but that is if you really want to understand this edwin you have to know what are count nouns and what are non-count nouns eso, eso es lo esencial because you can know this as you can see you can use them both but what about with with uh, much, many? They both are similar, but much is used with count with non-count nouns like time, and this one many with hours because you can count the hours. Okay. All right. So that that is the that is the objective, Edwin. But thank you for being honest. Okay, that that yeah. that shows that yeah, you really want to learn, but you basically just probably need a little bit more review about count nouns and non-count nouns. Cuáles son los contables y cuáles son uh -huh. los no contables? That is the that is the key. That is the key. So thank you. What what I can do is I can find like extra work for anyone uh -huh. that would want it, and I can show you basically the fundamentals, right? the beginning or the structure of count nouns and non-count nouns. Okay, so I'm going to okay. take that into okay, thank consideration. You. But thank you for being honest. I'm going to write that down. Okay. Thanks, thanks, thanks I to send you. Some, some, some video link in the group, WhatsApp group. All right. Okay, it can help, help you, maybe, right, I think. There you go, yeah. Yes, very good. Much many, but uh, remember to understand what are non-count nouns and countable nouns. That is the key. That is the key to here. All right, great. Now, I'm also going to share, for those of you that are doing the homework, the homework uh, on, on number five, 1.5 in la tarea en la plataforma, I'm going to share with you the, I think Brenda, was that you that said, uh, send the uh -huh. send it where you just copy and paste right uh -huh. all right i'm going to send it right now okay yeah because i know the platform sometimes has errors right 
and you probably have it right, but you know, I'm going to help you with that. So don't worry about that. I'm going to send it um, here in a, in a, let me see. Where is it? I'm going to send it to the group. All right. Let me see. All right. It's number two and number five. Okay. So when I send this document, the first one is going to be number two, and the next one is going to be number five. All right. I send it to the group right now. So if you have problems with the platform on on the homework on 1.5, ahí se los mandé ya al grupo. Okay? So that way you can have it. And what I sent, para que ellos si no estaban conectados, if you were not connected, I'm talking about this. A esto me refiero. Right? 1.5 the homework in the platform. So I sent you number five and number two. Okay. I sent you number five and number two to the group in case you need it if the platform is not accepting your answer. Okay. Okay, class. We are finished and tomorrow we are going to practice this. I want to see I want to see how well you understand it. We're going to continue practice. Do not worry, okay? Do not uh, do not feel like, oh, I didn't know this, I didn't know that. Tomorrow we have time to practice. That's all we are going to do tomorrow, practice. Different topics, this, quantifiers, activities, and speaking, okay? So let me do the final attendance. Okay, today, Brenda, you, where's Brenda? Here, teacher. Okay, there you are right there. Yeah, I see you right here on top. Okay, <laughs> today's your 10 minutes extra, okay? Oh, good. All right, great. Let me see. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Okay, now present. All right, Brenda. Present. Okay, thank you. Carlos. Okay, thank you. Diana. Diana? Present. Okay, great. Edwin. Present. All right. Flor. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Present, teacher. Thank you, Fredis. Here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Glenda. Glenda. Okay, no answer. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. There you are, right there. Yes. Okay. Um, Iris. Present. Thank you. Jackie? Mm -hmm. Present. Thank you. Darwin? Present. Thank you. Jennifer? Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose? Present. Thank you. Miguel? Miguel Angel? Okay. No answer. Fabio? Present. All right. Rolando? Antonio? Okay, no answer. Janari? I'm here. All right, great. Excellent. Okay, class, tomorrow we'll continue. Remember to do the homework in the platform and try to do it before midnight, okay? Just a quick reminder. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. We finish unit one tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay. Only Brenda stays. Hello, Brenda. Hi, teacher.
All right. How are you? I'm fine. I was checking the homework and you said that you will send something, but I don't know if you send it or not. Mm -hmm. I send it. Like uh, but I, I mean, maybe I'm not in the in the group. <laughs> what? You're not in the group? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, because the... I didn't I didn't get anything. Okay, it's in your email. Oh in your email when you got the link to enter the classes? No. I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about you say that you will send something to the team, the uh, correction of the sentence that has mistake in the homework 1.5. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, I sent it. Oh, I have to join that team. That's what I was telling you, Brenda. Stop. You have to go to your email uh -huh. and uh, mm -hmm. where, where, where Inglés Corporativo send you to enter the class. Abajito, uh -huh. underneath it is going to say <laughs> WhatsApp group. Join the WhatsApp group for the class. Okay. So you okay. haven't you haven't been in the group all this week? No. Oh, okay. No, yeah. teacher, I'm just lost in work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, please join. Yeah, I am going now. Let's see. Okay, it's here. Here. Okay. Now. Now I oh. see. All right. But even I didn't get that because okay. I was not before. All right. Let me see. I'm going to. Oh, let me see. Can you send like a, a thumbs up, please? Okay. Or like a happy face or something. And then I can send you the. So I won't so I won't do it twice and they're gonna be confused. Okay. So <laughs> let me <laughs> you see hey, why are you saying it again? Then we're doing... gonna talk. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's you. Okay, great. Now I'm going to okay, let me see. Okay. Well, I'm glad you stayed in the 10 minutes. You see, you got to join the group. Hey, uh -huh. welcome. <laughs> welcome to the class. <laughs> All right, there you go. I send it to you personally now. Uh, that's much better. So I can transfer now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sent it to someone else earlier and, and they put it and they show correct. Oh, okay. So uh, I can't remember who it was in the group. Mm -hmm. But actually, I get three bad um, answers. I, I will show you here. Is it number four? Mm, five, I think. Let me let me check this. Oh. See. Okay, I will try to share the screen as the number five and the number two and one. They give me a mistake. I don't know, maybe I have something wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. Let me... Let me share how number one would be, okay? Right here. The manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Okay, I get it. Period. Yeah. 
and then you have number five. I sent you that one. So mm -hmm. just this one, number one. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Okay. So these countable things and uncountable things are very like uh, a little bit tricky sometimes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. There are a few of them that are very useful, like we use it very frequently, but there are others that we never mention, like this plenty of or lots of. That is not common. <laughs> mm -hmm. And tomorrow we will practice a little bit. What I, what I wanted to see is how much, how well, because um, I have noticed that y'all, well, you and a, the other, your other classmates, you can speak pretty good, pretty well, right? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see, this was like a challenge, right? Uh -huh. This was like a challenge and I wanted to see how well or how much you knew about quantifiers, right? So that way I can figure out what activities I can do for for everyone tomorrow. Okay? Oh, that's very Whether good. It's going to be easy, intermediate or heavy or, or hard or speaking because I had some already made. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I wanted to analyze first. That's why I said individually. Uh huh. That's you very know, good. You notice it was like boom individually. Oh, no, was it in pilot, right? No, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> so it was like individually because I wanted to see because I was like, okay, well, they speak pretty good. They understand. They comprehend well. Okay, let me do an individual activity, not in group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you saw, oh, teacher, I can't, oh, I have a headache, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I understand some are sick and some haven't been well, but that also gives me a good analysis as to individual students, right? Mm -hmm. Who who actually needs a little bit more uh, help. And that is always with every class. And not just like, oh, and see, yeah, yeah, no, right? But it's always good to analyze everyone also as a group. Mm -hmm. In, in small groups and individually. Uh -huh. You know, you have something great and I like that. And I'll tell you what it is. You say when we are telling something that is, and that thing that we tell is wrong, you immediately say the mistake so we can learn because we are making the mistake. So you correct, we can improve. Exactly. And another thing is that you like, like uh, put challenge and that is very good because that motivates us and we want to make better, to be better. Great. Yes, mm -hmm. that is my purpose, right? Mm -hmm. That was my purpose of uh, being an educator, being a teacher. It was like, okay, I studied in the United States. I studied here to make a better El Salvador, to make a better country, right? Mm -hmm. To give everyone in the ability or the, or the tools necessary to progress in another language. And in this case, it's the English language. So my accent is American accent. And that's mm -hmm. why when I hear it, and I hear a lot of people make the same mistake. Okay, pause. Let's pause, right? Uh -huh. Like the word that we were uh, strategies, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah okay. strategies. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. But I like it. I like also the accent you have, because there are some words that uh, we have been listening differently. But later when we listen to you, it's like, that's the right thing. Mm. <laughs> the proper pronunciation. Uh -huh. the proper pronunciation yeah. right? how, teacher, how long have you been talking English? Um, since I was, since I was about nine years old. Oh wow, very so, small. <laughs> so I, I learned English at nine years old. Ah, that's very good. So the whole life, practically, you have been. I've yeah, been here and there, English. here and there. Yes. And have yes. you been for some stage in your life speaking just in English? Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, I've, I've had uh, jobs where it was with American people. Uh -huh. I, I've done work or I've done volunteer and paid work uh -huh. with, the, with the military also. Oh, wow. That's when very they, nice. When they come here to El Salvador for missions, uh -huh. Uh -huh. let me see, right before the pandemic in, at the beginning, uh -huh. I participated in, in a, a brigade from the mm -hmm. military to help in, a, in medicine Wow! for, for the poor awesome. people. So I went as a translator. So wow. there's no English speaking with them and, and the, cam, awesome. the television came and everything. I also did, <laughs> I also did um, you know, with pay from a Costa Rican company, uh -huh. Costa Rican company that hired us 
with a, a to do interpretation translations with a American uh, military for training mm -hmm. for the soldiers here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. so, oh, wow. so that was That's nice. That's so uh, great. It's yeah, amazing. It's a great mm -hmm. experience, especially when you get like a, a plaque of recognition. Uh huh. It's like, yeah, so I have it there on the wall. Uh -huh. That's very <laughs> awesome, no? Because yeah. that means that you know the language very well. Yeah, different, yeah, for... different technical words that are, that are in different areas, whether mm -hmm. it's in medicine, whether mm -hmm. it's in business, because mm -hmm. I also have a, a degree in business. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So, so that's why when we talk about business, I get like, yeah, all right. I remember, <laughs> I remember <Throw> <laughs> when, when I, in another groups, uh -huh. when, I, when I had them make their own company. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They were like, what? Hold uh -huh. on, right? So, like, yeah. Uh -huh. They were like, yeah, let's make your own company. Who's going to be the CEO and make a, a diagram, right? And uh -huh. they were excited. Mm -hmm. They were happy. Mm -hmm. They've never done that before, right? Uh huh. <laughs> That's true. So it's something I know. new, but mm -hmm. I'm going to show you something. Mm -hmm. I have okay. I had something already like here, but I wanted to. Okay, we start. I don't know if you can see the screen. Yes, it's up here, it's right? It's yeah, up here. Yes. So then I said, okay, I'm going to analyze everyone before mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. this activity. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How and then fill in the blank. Uh -huh. And then it would be like, okay, which which quantifier will you use? And then it was going to be a speaking activity. Uh -huh. But in order for me to do this activity, I had to analyze to see how much does the person really know, mm -hmm. right? And not yeah. go straight into talk and be like, well, I don't even know what I'm going to say, right? Uh -huh. So yeah. that's why I say, okay, I'm going to wait, but. I'm going to do this activity tomorrow after uh -huh. I explain more about quantifiers. Yeah, and that is a good topic because sometimes what happens is that we don't know too much about um, Spanish grammar. So we have problems to understand grammar from another language because we don't have the base. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So when sometimes I use like Spanish words in grammar because some people can be like, okay, yeah, I understand that from high school or something. So that's why I shoot it out there, right? But I know that the majority, mm -hmm. if you tell them, okay, sustantivo, quantitativo, and be like, oh, yeah, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah talk to me about it, right? Yeah, right? yeah it'd be like that, right? Mm -hmm. So it is it's just like you say, you're correct about that. Right. Mm. In Spanish, it's, it's like we don't even know it in our language, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, one teacher says one time, uh, he said, if you can do it, uh, because we were uh, programming something, so he was telling, if you can do it with a paper and with a pen, you will be able to program that thing. Otherwise, you cannot codify anything. You have to learn first to do it with the pen, and then you will be able to transfer that to the application. And that I remind that so, and it's the same in English is the same in another language is the same because if you don't know the basics of your language, it's yeah, very you, difficult. It's, gonna, it's going to be hard yeah. to, grow, to grow or progress mm -hmm. even further, right? Because you have to have that foundation. Uh -huh. You have yeah. to have a solid or a good stable foundation to grow. And then with experience and, and with, uh, with speaking with others, you start uh -huh. to grow and you progress and you progress and you progress, right? What do you think, teacher, about that applications that they try to say that you will learn just by listening to one dialogue of one uh, series or something like that? I don't, I, I don't agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not possible. It's not. You you have to do the the four key elements of the acquisition of a language, mm -hmm. and that's reading, writing, speaking, mm -hmm. and listening, uh -huh. listening. Okay. Yeah. If you can listen, mm -hmm. if, if a person can listen and actually understand and start to listen a good fluent English, that mm -hmm. person is going to be able to speak. Okay. I did an essay when I, mm -hmm. when I, uh, when I had to do my, my training with Insofor. Mm -hmm. I had to write an essay. 
Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And I had to choose what, what were the most important elements of the acquisition of the language. Mm -hmm. So it was an essay, an ensayo, right? An essay. Uh -huh. Yes. So I was like, okay. And I believe that speaking is important, right? Mm -hmm. But listening is mm -hmm. a little bit more important. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm going to give you an essay. You're probably saying, oh, teacher, speaking, right? Yes, I think speaking is second. They're real mm -hmm. close. Mm -hmm. But why do I say listening? I'm going to give you an example. Mm -hmm. When you grow up, when you're growing up, when you're mm -hmm. a baby, mm -hmm. do you speak or do you listen first and then you speak? You listen first. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the way you listen, the mm -hmm. way you listen to the sounds is the way you speak. And that's where we get our uh -huh. accent. Ya llegaremos el acento, right? Uh -huh. For example, yes. if you go to Mexico or you go to Spain and uh -huh. they speak Spanish, different accents, different accent because that's how they grew up. Uh -huh. They learn to speak the way they learn to listen. Yeah, ah, you see? That's true. Okay, uh -huh. another example. Some people say, no, you have to write. You have to read in order for you to know. Because then I come with, like I gave an argument one time, a good dialogue. No, mm -hmm. I see, come on, no, I'm talking about educational, educational uh -huh. argument. Where I said, okay, my grandparents, mm -hmm. they, didn't, they didn't know how to read and write. Uh -huh. But they, they could speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. So, boom, right? There goes your, your philosophy <laughs> about you have, to, you have to learn to read and write in order to speak, no? Because my grandparents or our great grandparents, I don't know in your family, your great grandparents, did they? Yeah, mostly the people, great grandparents, they don't. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but mm -hmm. they learn how to function in, mm -hmm. in market and go in the market and sell or sell products or learn about the economy of how to survive without mm -hmm. reading and writing. Yeah. But just by listening. Exactly. When you can listen to, to the accent listen mm -hmm. to the fluency mm -hmm. you are able your brain automatically is programmed mm -hmm. to be like okay you start producing the same sounds mm -hmm. yes. se nos pega eso. Uh -huh. All right? you so, can get exactly mm -hmm. exactly so that's my analysis right i could be wrong but that is the way i see no. it actually i i agree with you because uh for me to be able to keep a conversation, I have to learn a lot of verbs, a lot of vocabulary, and then try to open my ear because I was not able to understand when somebody was talking, even when I was knowing a lot of verbs and a lot of vocabulary. But with time, I don't know, that happened like, like magic thing. Sometimes there was one time in which I start to listen and then everything came like that. I, I, I was able to use that words that I was learning. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And then, mm -hmm. and then you begin to speak and then you begin to lose that being shy and timid. Oh, right. Oh, I'm going to make a mistake, <laughs> right? So you start to loosen up, right? And then uh, you start to develop and then you open up, boom, before you know it, you're speaking, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. But it's very interesting to learn new languages. Exactly. Very Remember nice. that in any accreditation, Mm -hmm. In any accreditation, whether it's the TOEFL, I don't know if you heard about that, the TOEFL exam. No, actually, I don't have, no, I okay. don't. Or a TOEIC exam, there is a section in each of those exams that you have to do a listening. No, mm -hmm. you just listen, and mm -hmm. then you have to analyze. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's like even international exams that are made in the United States, mm -hmm. you have to do a listening evaluation. Mm, wow. Mm -hmm. It's very important to know so how you, to listen. Exactly. So you're going to hear American accent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it's very difficult to understand some people because like, for example, with teachers, I don't have problems because they um, articulate very well when they speak. They speak properly. But when people speak like normally like that, they speak faster. They cut words. They use they words use, that I have never used is very complicated. Exactly, especially when slang is mixed. Uh -huh. Slang yeah. is mixed, you're like, hey, what is that, right? Or idioms <laughs> or anything of that. <laughs> so, okay, well, Brenda, it was a pleasure having you and it was a pleasure. Thank I you, think the we, same here. 
It was a pleasure <laughs> talking with you, and it was. Uh, I am glad to have really conversated with you. Great conversation, very <laughs> dynamic, very educational. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you for your time, and you are doing great. You are doing the things very great. I like it. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your comment. Okay. Thank okay. You. Have See a good tomorrow. night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you.